Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft from the Minecraft server. I'm gonna try to hit this guy off of my... Mm, not even close. Oh boy, that's way down there. Okay. I. Oh, that's closer. Oh, that's too high. Let's drop it down a little bit. That's the right height, but it was off. Oh my god! Right above his head. <laughs> oh, come on. This guy right now, he's probably wondering, like, is this a joke? Oh, and then he despawned. Wow. So the environment killed him. Anyways, today we're going to do something a little bit different again. Last episode, I made that skull. And um, I'm so glad that a lot of you guys, well, most of you guys, all positive comments, um, you guys liked it, and I think it looks really, really good. A lot of suggestions about, like, the eyes and stuff, redstone torches, things like that, but I'm going to leave it like this for now, and, uh, if the guys like it, maybe they can add some touches to it. I think redstone, I, I don't want to make it, like, too in your face. I kind of want it to be subtle, so that's why it just looks good like that. Look at all those arrows in his, in his head now. We're going to sleep, and we're going to do some Q&A caving. So before I went on vacation... I asked you guys for questions for Q&A caving. I never, I ran out of time, never got around to doing it. However, today is the day. And the reason for that is I need materials here. Like I need iron and, and gold and the diamonds and stuff. I need it here. Look at my, look at, this is going to be an interesting Q&A caving because I might just die. You know what? Hmm. I think I'm going to take the bed with me. I think I'm going to take the bed with me because... Armor, yeah, it's going to be interesting because everything works differently now, too. Armor, weapons, all that stuff works differently. So, we're going to go ahead and break this bed, find a cave near our little build over there, and go down in it and do stuff to it. By the way, of all the questions that were asked, obviously only some were picked because there's a lot of questions. Um, but uh, my girlfriend is the one who picked the questions. I have not even seen them yet, so some of these might be repeats. However, uh, not everyone has watched every single one of my Q&A caving videos, so the chances are good that you'll hear answers to questions that you have in the first place. Um, by the way, <laughs> I keep saying by the way, this thing here is amazing. I thought it was with a hoe. It is not with a hoe. It is not with a, with a hoe that you, you make this. This is not made with a hoe. It is made with a shovel. And you do that. And I don't know what this is over here. There's a castle, and it says Castle Twitch Plays Minecraft. So I guess Twitch Plays Minecraft somehow <laughs> has a castle built for them. I don't know what's going on. I have not been uh, up to speed with all the goings on of the Twitch Plays stuff. Spawn is coming along nicely. That skull certainly adds something to it. Look at my build off in the distance. Oh my god, that looks so good. That looks so good. I got to put more pillars on it. I got to put the bottom layer of uh, uh, platform, I guess, or dock. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. We're also, I've also been killing some chickens Ugh! as I've been traveling because of all the chickens around here. I need some meat. All I have is this bread, so that can't be good. Oh, for a second there, I thought Paws cut half of the mountain off, but it's just a cloud in the way. Ooh, that was close. Um, so life in the woods you guys have seen the teaser trailer not it's not really a trailer It's just a teaser video. I did with Fedrin for life in the woods It's gonna come soon and when it's released I, you you could be dang you can be dang sure I'm gonna play it. I can't wait. It's gonna be really really fun There's a lot of cool things that I don't even know about um, That I've been told to no the things have not been told to me. I just know that there's some things that I don't know about um, And I can't wait to figure them out. That's five chickens all right, let me kill these chickens, and I think the combination, did I, oh, he's down here. No, that's an egg. That's not chicken at all. Uh, I think the combination of chicken and bread that I have should be enough to get me through this cave. If not, there's always zombie flesh. Boop. There's a cave right over here. There's my place right there. This is a nice cave right here, and I think this might be a good, a good uh, candidate. So let's go up first. And let's start with the questions. First question from 
Yamu, Yamu, I, I giggled because she's a huge fan and she was actually at Minecon London. And uh, her question was, did you enjoy your first time in London and would you ever come back? I did like my first time in London. However, I didn't get to see nearly anything that I actually wanted to see. I was just, it was a very, very busy weekend. I couldn't stay longer for the weekend. So would I ever want to come back? Absolutely. I feel like I didn't even get to see half or half. I didn't get to see a fraction of what I actually wanted to see. Not even that. This is going to go nowhere, isn't it? Or is it? Is it? Isn't Isn't it? Is it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to English. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Let's go up here a little bit. Maybe we can dig down or somewhere. Oh, wait. There's some darkness. Let me go over here and see if this goes anywhere in particulars. So, yeah. I would definitely want to go back. This doesn't go anywhere. Uh, because I didn't get to see all the things I wanted to see. And hopefully soon, um, because I really, really enjoyed it. It was uh, it was such a nice place. Very pretty. The architecture is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. The traffic, however, you know, it took me uh, one hour to get from the airport, I guess, Heathrow to my hotel room. An hour. And I thought, oh, man, that, that is a long time. To get from my hotel room to Heathrow when I was leaving took me two hours because it was like a rush hour I guess and two two hours it doubled the time like Toronto traffic isn't even that bad and I thought Toronto traffic was bad so that part kind of sucked I guess you have to do all your traveling um before rush hour because you're going nowhere when rush hour hits uh, Alright, so this this place is not that promising. Let's keep walking and talking. Heck, it might not even be a Q&A caving. It could just be Q&A walking. Uh, Alright, so this is... Oh, Bash just built... He built like a wheel. Like a, a water wheel. That looks really, really good. I'm so glad Bash is my neighbor. I keep saying it, but it's true. He's got some beautiful builds. And I get to look at this all the time. As opposed to Oxai, where I get to look at Chad's creation all the time. Just kidding, Chad. It's actually a pretty nice house Chad built. Uh, let's go towards that away while reading the next question. Uh, what has been the hardest part? Wait, what has been the hardest part so far while working on your new house? Oh, good question, Zeb T123. The hardest part for sure, by far, has been waiting for permits. You guys have not seen a house update video in a while because. Uh, it's it's been I've been waiting. I've been waiting for paperwork to be done uh, Things need to be done first before I can start tearing things apart on the outside of the house The inside was all well and good, but the outside of the house needs to be torn apart and I need to get permits for that I need to get it's something called the um, uh, Committee of approval something like that if anybody is watching and they're from Toronto and have any sort of influence <laughs> I know this is a long shot but if you guys, if you if you have any sort of influence on this kind of stuff in Toronto and you're watching by any chance, please help. We really need that approval before November. Otherwise, the ground freezes and we can't dig anything up. And I'll, I'll be delayed until like April of next year. And it'll be really, really re bad. Holy. What? Was I not, like, super far from this guy when he blew up? I kind of want to repair the land. I don't want this to happen. This is not This is not how things should go in life. You make a mess, you clean it up. I'm going to try to make this look all natural and stuff. But, yeah, that's been uh, the most frustrating thing by far. Oh, there's some sound lag, which means there's probably some other lag. Maybe that's what. That's why he blew up, because there, there was some laggage. Maybe. I have no idea. The delays have been the hardest part. Waiting, waiting for permits, waiting for permission to do things. It's just been, oh god, it's been bad. Um, anyway, moving on. What was the scariest moment of your life? Ooh. Preserve this savanna in natural form for National Park. I hear a little guy. Oh, hi, little guy. Uh, the scariest moment of my life so far. I would say, hmm... I guess back when I was a kid, I already told the story before, I drank, I drank some, uh, oh god, what was it? I don't know for sure what it, 
Oh, oh, this guy's gonna kill me. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so low on health. My armor is so ineffective. The way armor works now is the, the more broken it is, the less effective it is. So I'm basically walking around here with no armor. Anyway, I drank, um... <laughs> uh. Oh god, it's the lag. Lag is happening. Whoa, there's a skeleton there too. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill... Um, have heart, have heart. I'm going down into the water. Oh my god. This guy is seriously gonna kill me. Okay. Don't take damage. This is a... Uh... Okay. Oh my god. What is going... This is really difficult. <sighs> I drank petroleum when I was a kid and I almost died. But I don't remember that. So I guess that wasn't the scariest that I remember. I Oh no. I guess the scariest I do remember... I get, I'm not big on um, public speaking and public places. And honestly, one of the scariest moments that I have ever had was the first Minecon... When I walked out into that hall and saw all those people coming at me, wanting me to sign stuff, that was scary. Oh my goodness, that was scary. Um, yeah, it was not a good time for me. Well, I shouldn't say that. It... Is that a magic block? It's, it's, it's lag. There's some lag happening and it's, it's killing me. It's going to be responsible for my death. Um, I shouldn't say it was a bad time because I, I, I enjoyed it. It was nice meeting everybody. But I was really, really nervous. It was really scary. I thought I was going to hyperventilate a couple times. It only it went away after like a few minutes anyway. But man, that was scary. Um, next question. What do you like the most about Portugal? Ah, as some of you might know, I just got back from a vacation to Portugal. The thing I like most about Portugal is visiting my family. Um, it's nice. The weather there is nice. It's a beautiful country. But after about two weeks, I pretty much had... By the way, I'm trying to find a cave here. Uh, after about two weeks, I pretty much had it. <laughs> uh, I get tired of being in the same place for too long. So, I, yeah, I get really, like, stir-crazy. I want to just leave. Or I guess it's homesick more than stir-crazy. Stir-crazy? What's stir-crazy anyways? How would you define that? Cabin fever is maybe what I was looking for. Either way, yeah, um, it was nice, but, oh man, am I going to die here? Really? Oh, there's a skeleton up there. He, I think he's got, a, he's got, yeah, he's got like a, a, a magical bow. Okay, he's dead now. Let's head into the natural, naturally preserved park here. Oh man, this lag, why now? Now is a bad bad time I guess I missed him hit them or hit him I missed him with that shot oh another laggy moment this is really frustrating guys let's walk and talk some more can we you know what I've had enough of this we have our bed let's just sleep let's get rid of this rain so favorite part of Portugal is family uh, next what's your favorite movie and or TV show don't have a favorite movie. Um, I don't have a favorite TV show either. I have several favorite movies. One of them would probably be... Let's see. I really like... The Matrix series I really like. Oh, this is Infinity. No wonder I couldn't pick up those arrows. The Matrix series. Um, the Lord of the Rings series is some of my favorites. Secret Window with Johnny Depp is amazing. Uh, the Truman Show, one of my favorites. Um, oh, the one with the kids and, and the, hey, you guys, you know, that, that movie, I forgot what it's called now. It's just slipping my mind. Uh, but that one, one is one of my favorites. Got a lot of favorite movies. What is going on over here? What is going on over here? We're going to go check it out. Just walking and talking. Oh, 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 two double skeleton power. Oh God. There's so many skeletons around here and they all have armor or not all of them. Just those. What is this? What is happening here? Am I spoiling somebody's thing? Uh, as for TV shows, Seinfeld. Seinfeld is my favorite TV show by far. 
Um, I guess I have favorites, though. I don't have just one. So Seinfeld's really, really good. I don't know what this is. But whatever, man. Oh, that looks really cool, too. I wonder if there's a cave near that way that we can go check out. Um, really like The Office. I'm trying to think of... Oh, um... Well, I was gonna say, I was gonna say South Park, but I haven't seen South Park in so long. I don't know if that counts anymore. I really like South Park, though. I liked it a lot. My cousin originally introduced it to me, and he was a big fan. And um, not Jason, but every time I say my cousin, people think Jason because they think he's my only cousin, a different cousin. Actually, Jason's brother. <laughs> believe it or not. Um, yeah, and he was a big South Park fan. He's like, "Hey, you gotta watch this show." And then I watched it, and then I became a bigger fan than him. So that's just how the cookie crumbles. Oh, yay. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Did he see me? Okay, the lag. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I wanted to blow a hole in this gravel anyways. Hey, look at this. Look at this. This is how this is how we roll. I should probably make some iron armor. Honestly, oh, we got nothing down here. Uh, there's shows I'm forgetting, I'm sure. I'm just really nervous about this whole new caving system. I love the changes, by the way. There's been some hate um, towards these changes. Not in my case. I really, really like these changes. I like the fact that it makes the game way more difficult when you have diamond armor, especially if it's broken down. Let's go this way. How's my chicken situation? I still got 20 chicken. That's good. Uh, another question. What is your favorite Seinfeld episode? Oh, I forgot to read the, the people's the people's names. So the scariest moment in your life was Noters the Great. Uh, what do you like most about Portugal was An Anseristic. And Gerben Marco was, was your favorite TV show and or movie. What is your favorite Seinfeld episode by Carolyn C2, I think? Um, favorite Seinfeld episode, the Soup Nazi episode is so good. I just, I cannot not laugh when I see that episode. I just love it so much. Um, the dog napping episode is really good too, where uh, Elaine's voice is completely gone from yelling at this dog, and then they have like a, uh, I don't know, it's like a, like a kidnapping of the dog. It's just really, really funny. I really like it. Um, let me think. The Chinese restaurant is really, really old, but I really like that episode because the whole episode takes place in a Chinese restaurant, and it's good. It's just flat out good. How can I? How can she slap? I can't even hit this guy. Go through this right here. This is just a dark area. I'm gonna preserve the darkness, and we're gonna go this away. Past this guy. He's holding an egg, so he's not gonna despawn. We don't want that. We don't want that. We want him to despawn. Because then lag happens if a lot of them exist. Um, next question. Do you still do photography? Oh, wait. I skipped one. <laughs> I appropriately skipped one. Oh, my gosh. Are you ever going to propose to Sarah? This is from Tay Elizabeth. <laughs> um, no comment. Yep. Let's just leave it at that. Just no comment. Nice, nice pick there, Sarah. Good job picking the question. Yep. Good job picking that question. Next question. Do you still do photography from Sissy? Sissy? Sissig? Sissig with nice? With rice. Sissig with rice. Okay. I, I hope I read your name right. Do I still do it? No. I haven't done it in a really long... I said that really meanly. Like, no. How dare you? No, I don't do it, but I want to. Um, are you guys enjoying the scenery, by the way, with this uh, with this episode? It's not caves, but there is some scenery involved. Plus, we've gotten into a couple of battles where we almost died. I don't. Uh, I don't have any time at the moment. Like I said, I really want to, and hopefully things... Man, I keep saying hopefully things will get a little bit less busy for me, but it seems like things get more and more busy. And I put more and more on my plate. For instance, getting that new puppy. I really didn't need the extra work that this puppy involves, but... Um, I got her, and now I have to deal with her. That sounds really bad. She's actually not... A terrible puppy. She's okay. She's all right, I guess. <laughs> She's really cute. And if you're not following uh, following me on Instagram, yeah, this is where we came from, right? I kind of saw this uh, sandy area and wanted to go towards it, but maybe we'll just go. We'll scoot along the edge. 
of this river here. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's Vintage Beef YT for YouTube, um, or Vintage Beefy T, as I pronounce it sometimes. <laughs> Uh, I post pictures of her on YouTube and videos. I just posted one today, actually, and she was uh, she was doing something adorable. She was playing with the water coming out of the hose and, like, digging into it and stuff. You know, typical cute puppy things. Um, so, yeah, one day my schedule is going to clear up. I'm not going to be super busy, and I'm going to do some more photography. I actually miss it a lot. I miss it a lot. I miss people who I would go shoot with, too, like just friends of mine that I'd go shoot with. I haven't done that in so long. I don't even talk to them other than, you know, we just talked about photography related things. And now I haven't even spoken to them in forever because I haven't been doing any photography. So yeah, it's kind of a sad situation. Uh, wings or ribs from Anna Re A Andre, Andre Espitia 23. I, uh, I gotta be honest. Not an you know, enormous fan of either one of those because I don't like getting messy when I eat. <laughs> and both of those require you to get messy. I've had wings more than I've had ribs. I mean, I like the taste of both of them. I just think it's annoying. I've had uh, wings more than I've had ribs. But a good rib, I think, is better than a good wing, in my opinion. Let's just ax these guys. You better ax about it. Oh, they're really upset with me about this. Okay, you're dead now. I think we finally found a cave just in time to end the episode. Let's have one more question here. From uh, everyone. <laughs> everyone, yes. That makes sense. How's Bubba? Bubba's great. He's uh, getting used to his little sister. They, She fights with him like a play fight. But she's a puppy, and her play fights involve biting Bubba's neck rolls, and Bubba does not appreciate that. And then he gets a little rowdy with her. Like, he doesn't get angry or anything, but he gets rough with her. Like, you want to play fight? I'll play fight! And then he, like, starts um, roughhousing with her, and she's way too small to be roughhousing with anybody. So that worries me a little bit when, when they start doing that. I, I don't let it last long when that happens. I break it up, and, and they seem to go about their separate ways. And, uh, and get over it. There's nothing beyond here. But other than that, he's doing great. She has... The reason I bought her, as I think I've mentioned before, was to just just give him some company. Just give him some companionship. Because he always looks so sad when it's just me and him. Um, so she has brought that out in him. Like, he... Oh. He hasn't even lifted his thing yet. Sucker. She has brought that out in him. He actually gets up out of bed. <laughs> which is huge. Uh, he plays. He eats his food regularly now. Before he didn't, he would uh, he would just eat it when he felt like it. But now it's like every time I put that food down in the bowl, he's probably worried she'll eat it, which she doesn't. I don't allow her to eat his food because he has a specially medicated food because he's a he's a bit of a special dog. <laughs> special air quotes. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, he. Uh, it seems like she's bringing bringing young Bubba back, and he's only two, but he acts like he's eighty. Anyway, anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Maybe in the next one we'll continue it. Or I might take a break from the Q&A stuff, work on some things, and then come back to the Q&A. Because there's still so many questions here that I did not get through. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to watch Until Dawn. I keep saying this. Listen, guys, I'm not getting paid for, for playing this game. I just think it's such a good game. You guys are totally would totally enjoy it if you watched it. Um, so, yeah, watch it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, though. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.